10 years ago, our next guest perished in the unforgettable Red Wedding Massacre on Game of Thrones. Now he's wet again in the new spy thriller, Citadel. It premieres Friday on Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome Richard Madden. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, I've missed your face. I really have. Uh, I've missed do people, yours. What happens when you go to a wedding? Does everybody bring it up? I don't get invited to weddings <laughs> because of that. Real? Oh, that's kind of great, <laughs> actually. <laughs> wow. I got to get like murdered at a children's birthday party on television. That's a good idea. <laughs> Nobody would want me there. So you don't really, is that true? You really don't get invited really to weddings? I don't get invited to weddings very yeah. often, which right. is great, actually. I could do without them. Are strangers still mentioning Game of Thrones to you everywhere Always. you go? Yeah. Always. And I'm really, I'm kind of, I'm still really proud of it. I feel like an observer of it now. It's been 10 years since the Red Wedding. It has, yeah. Um, but I feel, um, I'm still really proud of it. It was a good time. What did they say specifically to you? Oh my God, you're dead, you died, my heart was broken. Oh really, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, That's kind of nice in a way, you get eulogized yeah. just throughout the day. Yeah, I'm constantly <laughs> reminded of getting slaughtered. You play a spy in this new, in Citadel. <laughs> yes. Which is uh, produced by the Russo brothers who yeah. did the Avengers movies. Yes. It's, to play a spy has got to be like at the top of, the, especially for a gentleman of your nationality to be atop of uh, the list, right? A spy, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's super fun and it's super good because I get to play kind of two versions of the spy. One, which is the, the, the super competent, um, intelligent spy, and the other version is a guy who has no idea that he is a top spy. He's just living a quiet life in Oregon. Right, because he got his brain got, got wiped. Got his brain wiped, yes. Which it happens. Is. It does happen. I mean, not in real life, but it happens in the movies a lot. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. yeah, it used to be amnesia. You get hit on the head with a coconut or something, like Gilligan. <laughs> yes. Have you ever seen Gilligan's Island? Yes, indeed. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but we use it a bit more sci-fi. We get our brains More right. sci-fi than a coconut? It's a little more sci-fi, <laughs> a little more advanced. And there's a lot of action. Actually, those action scenes, to me, when I see them, and they look great, they look like they would be a combination of fun and not at all fun. Not at all fun. But they are really fun, actually, because, you know, we get to kind of do these huge action sequences and you kind of feel like you're in a theme park at times when they, you know, build a, a huge submarine that's life-size and you're running around on top of it. it yeah, be fun. and fighting. And then you get to watch yourself beating people up, which has got to be fighting. fun. Yeah, I mean, that's really good fun. The, the only problem is I'd be, a, I'd be terrible at fighting in, in real life because stage fighting is very, very different. Have you been in a fight in real life? I was nearly in a fight once. What happened? Um, I was in high school and I was, I, was, I was a bit of a bigger boy back then. I, I, uh, I, I moved less and ate more. Um, mm -hmm. oh. and, uh, and, and I was picked on as kids do, pick on each other. And, uh, and one day I decided, like, enough, I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna fight this guy and he's gonna Who beat me up. Who was the guy? Up. Do you remember? I do remember his name, actually, but I don't want to see it. Let's just say his first name. Darren. Darren, okay. Darren. He was oh. a short kid, but a good fighter. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, okay, I'll fight you at lunchtime. Let's just get it done. He'll beat me up and I'll, I'll not be picked on anymore by him. And then we got to lunchtime and he said, okay, I'm just gonna go and get my lunch and then we'll fight. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cool. And I was like, no, actually, I'm not gonna stand for this. I'll just fight Wait, you. He was scheduling the fight around lunch? <laughs> Scheduled, yeah, so I, I take, a, I, I go down the hill to- And you were the fat one. I was the fat one, but you know, <laughs> he wanted to do it. And I met him at, I met him outside Tasty Bites, which was, um, which is where you get lunch What's, from. What is Tasty Bites? Tasty Bites is kind of like a real Scottish greasy, greasy spoon. Oh. Um, everything's fried or deep fried, delicious, uh -huh. but very unhealthy. No wonder I was much bigger than I am now. Um, and so I go to meet him for this fight with all these kids <laughs> behind me, and he's got all these kids, and I was like, I've got to get the first punch in, that's going to win the fight, and just as I go to do it, there's a hand on my shoulder, and I get dragged backwards and slammed onto the bonnet of a car, and I look up, and my mother is going, don't fight at school, I told you, no fighting at school. And she'd got a flat tire in her car at that moment, on that day, and saw this crowd of kids, and came over, and her son's in the middle of it, and, I have to thank her for it, to be honest, because I didn't get my jaw broken or my nose broken. So and... what, they didn't reschedule the next fight for the next day? <laughs> no, they didn't, no. thank God, actually. And any time I, I was threatened with another fight, they say, oh, your mother will come, let's not worry. <laughs> <laughs> your co-star in Citadel, uh, Priyanka Chopra-Jonas, and also Stanley Tucci, 
who is uh, 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 a lot of fun, yes? He is the most fun. I mean, we, we, we spend a lot of time together. I'm very Do lucky you? to be around. Like, every, all day and night at the moment, we see each other in the gym in the morning, and then we work all day, and then we have food, and then we have drinks at night, and then I see him in the gym in the morning again. It's kind of like Beetlejuice. If you just say his name three times, he shows up. Really? <laughs> well, try it. Let's see if he shows up. All right, OK. Stanley Tucci, Stanley Tucci, Stanley Tucci. What an incredible, I, amazing thing that just happened on plan. I didn't know you had a portal. Uh, yes, yeah. we've got a portal here. I'm going to use this next time I'm in the HOV lane by myself. <laughs> Suddenly, Stanley will be there. Yeah. We were just talking about you before you, you were. were. Yeah, where were you before you were transported? No, I was at home. All dressed? You had a yeah. microphone on at home? Yes. Under the lapel? Yeah. No, so the kids can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, we were just talking about how much time you guys are spending together. It sounds we are like spending a, a lot of time together. Yeah. Yes. And you're cooking for Richard? I have cooked for Richard. Richard what have you made, Richard? Go ahead, tell me. Oh, we no. had, well, <laughs> Richard came over to the house, and we, I think, Felicity and I made, I think we just made, like, a really simple... Pasta. Oh, no. You know what we made? We made gnocchi with, with uh, tomato and shrimp. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. Same, very nice. Yeah. Interesting. And, yeah. and, and, and he put, you did not remember that. You, it was unmemorable? Well, he made me three martinis first, uh -huh. so by the time the gnocchi came, <laughs> I was ready for it, but I didn't remember Stanley it. Stanley yeah. made me pasta once many years ago. I remember it very, to this moment. I, it was a lemon pasta. Do you remember this? No. <laughs> oh, I do. No. You don't remember? No. Well, I don't think we've ever met, but... <laughs> but I'm glad to be here now. Yeah, no, it's great yeah. to have you here. You're yeah. probably, you know, sometimes the uh, actual, the transport scrambles people's brains a little bit. Like in yeah. the show. That in the yeah. martini, it's, martinis Yes, it's all also. wiped, yeah. No, I, yes, I made you a lemon pasta. Yes, yes, see? I yeah. told you. Well, you also are an amazing... Cook. Well, you no. know, let's not listen. Let's not turn this into a circle jerk, Stanley. Okay. Let's um, <laughs> let's oh. focus on Richard. People would pay good money oh, for we that. Have to, oh, I think. oh, we have to talk about Richard in yes, the show. Yes, tell us one thing about Richard that we don't know. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, I think that Richard. First of all, what about the workouts? What goes on with the two of you there? We don't really. We end up in the gym at the same time. But if I did his workout, I would have died months really? ago. Really? Yeah. No, it's staggering. No, I've it's... never seen anything like it. I, I don't understand, part... like, you have muscles like I've never seen before. Like, who has a muscle there? I'll you, give you that you money know? later. Thanks, Stan. What about you? I mean, this is... I, He's I think... so fit and healthy, and we get... We don't speak to each other in the gym, but no, we, we don't. see no. each other, and yeah. then we get competitive. Yeah. And suddenly Stanley's doing extra burpees, and I'm yeah. throwing those weights, I'm getting the heavier weights. Yeah. And then the next day, we're both kind of limping around, <laughs> trying to pretend that we didn't overdo it. And then do you shower together at the end of the workout? Of course. Workout? Yes. Of course. Oh, yeah, and before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry to interrupt whatever it was you were doing, Stanley, yeah, but I it's know. Great, really great to it's see great you. Great to see you. Should I, am I supposed to go now? No, no, you can just sit there, oh, and we'll, right. I guess we'll say your name backwards, and you'll go back home. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Stanley Ducci <laughs> and Richard Madden, everybody, they're in Citadel. You can see it Friday on Amazon Prime. We'll be back with They Might Be Giants.